Moscow University is established in 1755 on Tatiana Day, a religious holiday that falls on this day, the 25th of January. On this day in 1858, Mendelssohn's Wedding March is played for the first time at the wedding of Queen Victoria's daughter, Princess Victoria, to the Crown Prince of Russia. On this day in 1905, at the Premier Mania Pretoria, South Africa, a 3,106 carat diamond is discovered and christened the Cullinan Diamond. It was the largest diamond ever found. On this day in 1924, the first Winter Olympic Games opens at Charnex, France. And on this day in 1955, Columbia University scientists develop an atomic clock accurate to within one second in 300 years. On this day in 1959, Pope John XXIII proclaims the Second Vatican Council. The Beatles have their first US number one when I Wanna Hold Your Hand goes to the top of the charts on this day in 1964. The Israeli submarine Dakar, carrying 69 crew members, disappears on this day in 1968. The wreckage of the car, Dakar was not found until 1999. The exact reason for the sinking of the vessel remains a mystery to this day. Charles Manson and three women followers are convicted of the Tate LaBianca murders on this day in 1971. Also on this day in 1971, General Idi Amin Dada leads a military coup and overthrows Ugandan President Moulton Obote. Amin gives himself the title, His, Excell His Excellency, President for Life, Field Marshal Al Haji, Dr. Idi Amin, VC, DSO, MC, CBE, Lord of all the beasts of the earth and fishes of the sea. Not bad. On this day in 1974, Dr. Chris Barnard, the South African surgeon who performed the first heart transplant in 1967, transplants the first human heart without removal of the old one. Paul McCartney is released from a Tokyo jail and deported from Japan on this day in 1980. He had spent 10 days in prison for possession of marijuana. Let's look at a few birthdays for today. A Scottish poet Robert Burns was born on this day in 1759. Also born on this day, but in 1987, was Russian tennis player Maria Kirilenko. Chicago gangster Al Capone dies on this day at the age of 48. And actress Ava Gardner also dies on this day at the age of 67 in 1990. And finally, on this day in 2005, the first Oscar nomination for a South African film is announced. Yesterday, a drama about a woman in a rural village who discovers she is HIV positive was the first feature length film in the Zulu language. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and tune in tomorrow for another This Day in History.